Okay, see ya. Bye. Huh? Guess who that was? Carla. Ryan. Oh, great. How was he? Well, that is the best bit. He's coming home tomorrow for the summer. I thought students went travelling. <laughs> Working, more like. Paying off his student loan. Besides, I've hardly seen him since he went to uni. Where's he going to stay? Ah, uh, your room. Sorry. Well, I don't mind. I'll move out. Well, you don't have to move yeah, out. I'll find a place in my own anyway. Oh, you're here. Yeah, well, not really. Listen, I, I spoke to Susie last night in LA. She wants me to go over. When? Well, after what I've been through this year, I just really feel like jumping on a plane. While Peter's still away, what? Yeah, well, we're history. He doesn't give a damn about me, obviously, wherever he is. Hold your horses. There's something else you better take into consideration. Michelle's not the only one who's had a good phone call. McNeese rang. And? They want to increase their order. Really? Eight thousand units, really. It's a massive increase. It's all down to my negotiating skills. Ah! Feel free to heap praise on me. No, it is brilliant. Well done. You'll have to take on more machinists. Four. I've done the sums. But I'm sure you two can keep our growing workforce in check, can't you? Hang on, us? You can't go away now. Yeah, well, it's... It's Rob's chance to step up to the plate, isn't it? Prove he can pass muster. Look, you can go on holiday any time, not when we're snowed under. Yeah, well, I want to go now. Besides, I've already earmarked Rob as potential management material, haven't I? Oh, you've changed your tune. Thanks for the sure confidence. I won't let you down. Yeah, well, if he does, who's going to be there to clear up the mess? Well, I can always come back on a plane if needed, can't I? But aren't you taking a massive risk? I mean, no offence, Rob, but you've only been here five minutes. Yeah, well, unlike you, I've got faith in Rob's ability. And unlike you, I'm being realistic. Look, if you're not up to the job, then I'm going to find somebody else who is. Ah, oh, cheers, Carla. Nice one. Look, I've thought long and hard about this. I am going to LA. Right. When? Tonight. Tonight? Yes, Susie needs me. She's got personal problems. Yeah, well, we've got professional problems. Look, if I didn't think you could hack it, I wouldn't be leaving. I think Michelle's got a point. Yeah? Well, then maybe I overestimated you both. You haven't. We'll manage. Won't we, Michelle? Do you know where Peter is? If you do, it's really important that you tell me. Um, no, I'm sorry. He's got Simon. They're in a B&B somewhere and he's planning to take him away. Really? Take him where? I don't know, on a boat. On a boat? What kind of boat? I don't know, Simon rang me, but then Peter grabbed the phone off him. Right, well, thanks for the update. It's very interesting, but, you know, me and Peter are history. Simon is terrified. He's really upset. But he's with his dad, not the big bad wolf. No, just the big bad drunk. He's not supposed to take him away without telling me. Yeah, well, I forget the final details of your agreement. In fact, I really regret getting tangled up in it all. Listen. If you are covering for him, can you please think again for Simon's sake? Well, he's more likely to share his innermost thoughts with you, isn't he, Leanne? If he's drinking, they could go anywhere and anything could happen. I'm sorry. I don't know anything. Now, if you'll excuse me, we're in the middle of a meeting. OK, we need to do a quick stop take. If we need any new materials, I can ring for them. Then I'm going to pack. OK, Rob? I'm on it. Mm -hmm. So, Peter's gone missing. Believed to be headed for the high seas with Simon. So the answer is, you're off to LA, and you have to go today. But the two things aren't connected. No. Who are we on the phone to then? Just before the meeting started. McNeese. Yeah. Let's have a look at your phone. Then. No. Why? If you got to hide. I don't have to explain every little action to you, Michelle. It was Peter, wasn't it? Oh, God. <sighs> Do you know what? When I heard my son's voice today, my little boy, right, it just made me realise how much I miss him when he's not there. How sick with worry kids make you. Leanne's going out of her mind there. What do you think Peter's going through? Simon's his son. Yeah, and she said he's scared. Peter is an alcoholic, right? If he's got some crazy idea to, to run away with him, take him away from his home, from his life, 
You cannot be a part of this, Carla. It is wrong. I've got a plane to catch. Oh. A boat, more like. Look, I'm going to help Rob, and then I'm going to pack. So hopefully they'll pick them up before they leave. Leanne. <clears throat> I hate doing this to Carla, but I'm a mother and I, I can't just sit back and let this happen. Let what happen? Carla's lying. <sighs> she knows where Peter is, I'm certain of it. Right, what's she said? Well, you know, she's a tough cookie, but when it comes to Peter, she's like putty. So they're in this together? Well, why else is she suddenly leaving town? Is she? Yeah. And I just saw her letting herself into Peter's flat, so why would she do that? Yeah. What are you two doing here? Could ask you the same question. You and Peter split up, didn't you? And isn't that his passport? And Simon's? And what would you want with them? <laughs> 